So what you want to do at first is press, press these two buttons again, scroll down and select at the same time, and this will bring you to uh, a nice little menu here. You can scroll through uh, different settings. Uh, this will tell you each channel and what's what the stick movement is right here. Usually, you know, you can get yourself at mid stick by looking at this. You know, you get here and they all line up. But there's even better ways. You want to come out here. Uh, see, this will when you set up your pitch curves and everything. This will show you the in and out. So you can set up the in and out 50-50. You, know, you can go all the way up to 100, down to 0, anywhere in between. 50-50 is where you want to have your, your level pitch and uh, 0 pitch going. You know, from there you can go positive and negative. <clears throat> so this is where you want to set up your servos from. The reference is 50-50. Turn it on here, bring that to the side. I'm going to turn on your helicopter, plug it in, or whatever method you're using just to plug in the receiver. Uh, right now, don't have the motor plugged in. You know, it doesn't make any sense. You're just setting up the receivers, and you don't want it to spin up. Last thing you want. Uh, so right now, we're going to just look at the uh, elevator aileron servos. So when you go up and down with your stick, you want to see your servo. So up with the stick and down with the stick. Right now, uh, going up with the stick, looking at this aux one servo on the left side. If I go up, the servo goes down. If I go down, the servo goes up. Uh, see, that's not the way it should be. So, the pitch is backwards on this one. But let's see what the other servos are doing. So you stick down, up, down. So for the pitch, this servo is doing the right thing. The aileron servo is going up, when the stick is going up, and it's going down as the stick is going down. So, that's good. See what the elevator servo is doing? It looks like it's also doing the wrong thing. So, we have a couple options here. Uh, since we have two of them moving together, and one of them is not, I think I'm just going to choose to reverse this servo so that it's moving with the other ones, and then I'll change the pitch with the swash mix. Let me show you what I'm talking about. That servo was the aileron servo. So it was the one, it's the one on the right side. So we want to reverse that one and let's see if, what it does now. Oh, okay, so stick up and down. So now all the servos are at least doing the same thing together for pitch. But they're doing the opposite of what I want. So I'm going to go into the swash mix menu closer to it earlier. Here we go. And pitch. Right now we got plus 60 on everything. That's the that's the default. Uh, so in order to go down to the pitch, we go select and then select so the arrow goes down here to pitch. And instead of positive 60, we're going to go negative 60. So that will make everything, instead of moving down when I go up, it will do the opposite of what it's doing right now. So I'm going to scroll this all the way down to negative 60. So now that this is negative 60, you look at the stick movement, up, makes the servos go up, down, makes them go down. And all of them are doing the correct thing for pitch. Down, up, perfect. So the pitch is exactly how we want it. Now we want to see what's happening with the aileron and elevator. So if we go left, see how the here's 
left stick is making these two servos. You want to watch the two servos that are aileron. Sometimes you'll find they're in the back, sometimes they're in the front. But the three uh, servo configuration, 120 degrees, you're going to have the same basic layout. You want to watch these servos. So left stick, you really want the left one to go down and the right one to go up. But I've got the opposite happening. You know, left stick is making the right one go down. So the aileron is also reversed for what I want. So again, we're going to go in here to the uh, aileron and we're going to go from positive 60 to negative 60. Okay, so now we give it some left and right error on play. Left, we want the left server to go down, perfect, and the right server to go up, perfect. Right, we want the right server to go down, left server to go up, perfect. So now the aileron is doing exactly what we want. Now we want to check the elevator, make sure it's going in the correct direction. So we're going to move our stick forward and back. So when we move our stick forward, we want the elevator, elevator servo to go up. So forward, oop, it's going down. And these guys are going to go, you want them to go down. So it looks like the elevator is exactly what the opposite of what we want as well. So if it gives a stick down, oh, that would make the swash plate go forward, which would be forward, and that's not what we want. So, again, we're going to go into the swash mix. Elevator, change that from positive 60 to negative 60. You know, later, you can go a little more or less. Uh, just depending on how much play you have, how much pitch you want overall. Uh, you want to make sure you don't create any binding happening while you're doing that. So you want to be conservative about this, but different helicopters will allow different levels for this. I'm going to just stick with 60 right now for the basic uh, setup and training. So now, check it out. Forward on the elevator makes the elevator servo go up and the aileron servos go down. Down on that stick makes the elevator go down, so that's going to push the swash plate back. That's exactly what we want. So now we got elevator, aileron, pitch. All doing what we want. Servos are working together. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about on the DX7 is the travel adjust. Uh, so you have the travel adjust here. Uh, I'll show you uh, by example with the aileron servo. Right now we're at 100%. And what the travel adjust does is, say the servo, you know, it goes so far this way and so far this way as its maximum throw. But if you add some adjust, it adds more to the maximum throw. It will give more length that the servo can go. If you take it away, then you give it a smaller uh, angle that it can go. So more travel adjust and less, less travel adjust. So we'll check it out here on the LR aileron servo. Uh, so this servo, think of its maximum throw. Uh, you go, you have the throw just for the pitch, and then you have the amount of throw, that's the pitch, and then the amount of throw for the aileron. So if you want to see all of the left throw, uh, what you, or all the throw in, in the one direction, you'll have to go all the way negative stick, and then right stick as well. So all the way down and all the way right and then that will show you the overall throw to see the throw in the other direction stick all the way up and then left on the aileron so from here to here that's the overall throw just doing these okay so if we wanted to increase that say we'll show uh, this throw in this direction what we do here is add to this. So to increase the throw, we've got the stick that direction, and then increase, and you can see that 
the distance it goes is further. So as I go up, and then here's as I go down, the overall throw goes down as well. So you can still have throw in this direction, but all the throw in that direction is gone because I got rid of that's at zero, so it won't go right at all. So I definitely want to add that back on there. Do 100%. Okay, so same with the left. You go all the way to this side. Then you decrease or add throw, and as I'm adding, so you go further out, and as I decrease, it comes in. So if you go zero on this, see zero this, see I can go up and left as much as I want, but I can't go right at all. If I go zero on both of these, this is the minimum amount of throw that we can get. Absolutely none. Or if we go up to a hundred percent on all of these, then we see our maximum throw from here to here. See how it's going further than the elevator servo down here? So that gives it maximum throw. So you don't want to overdo it because you don't want your swash plate to be connecting uh, or touching your frame or the top uh, of the fly bar cage. So I'm going to bring these back down to 100. That's where I'm going to have them right now. But if you find, you know, you're not getting enough travel uh, out of out of your servos, this is a good way to add or subtract.